Hello my dear cuties and welcome back to the channel. I am Ritika and today you will be learning degree of comparison. But before that if you are new to my channel and if you haven't subscribed it yet then just below the video there is a subscribe option and a bell icon. So make sure that you press both of them so that whenever I upload a video you will be notified. So cuties most adjectives have three different forms of comparison or degree of comparison that is positive, comparative and superlative. So in this video I am going to show you how to form comparative and superlative degree out of the positive degree. So there are five simple rules to form comparative and superlative degree of comparison. So the first rule is adjectives of one or two syllables. For example if there is an adjective which is in the positive degree and we have to convert it into the comparative degree. So we have to add ER to its end. For example, if I take a word cheap, this is an adjective and I want to convert it into comparative degree, the degree which it has is positive degree. So I will add ER to the end of the word. For example, cheap plus ER that is cheaper and if I want to convert the positive degree of cheap into superlative degree then I will add EST to the ending. So cheap becomes cheapest. C H E A P E S T. This becomes the superlative degree of the word cheap. So in this example we got three different degree of comparison that is cheap positive degree cheaper comparative degree, cheapest superlative degree. So rule number two is if your adjective is ending with the letter E and you have to convert it into the comparative degree then you just have to add the alphabet R to the ending of your adjective. For example, brave. I want to convert it into comparative degree. I will simply add R to its ending. So this becomes braver and to convert it into superlative degree I will just add the alphabets S and T to its ending. So this becomes bravest. So in this example we found three different degree of comparison that is brave positive degree, braver comparative degree, bravest superlative degree. So rule number three is if your adjective is ending with the consonant Y and you have to convert it into comparative degree then you just have to remove the Y alphabet and add IER to your positive degree of comparison and this becomes comparative degree of comparison. For example, I take the word lucky. In this word Y is a consonant so I will remove the Y and I will add IER to the adjective. So this becomes luckier and if I want to convert the same word into a superlative degree then I will remove the Y and I will add IEST to the adjective. Then this becomes luckiest that is the superlative degree of comparison. So in this example we saw three different degrees that is lucky positive, luckier comparative and luckiest superlative degree of comparison. Rule number four is if your adjective is ending with a consonant preceded by a vowel then you just have to double the consonant. For example if I take the word sad now in this word D is a consonant and A is a vowel and I have to convert it into comparative degree then I will just double the consonant and add ER to the ending. So this becomes sadder and if I have to convert it into superlative degree then I will double the consonant and add EST to the ending. So this becomes superlative degree that is saddest. So in this example we saw three different degrees that is sad positive, sadder comparative and saddest superlative. Rule number five is if your adjective is with three syllables or two syllables then you just have to add more and most before the positive form. For example if I take the word successful and I want to convert it into comparative degree 
then I will just add more before the positive degree. So this becomes more successful and if I want to convert it into superlative degree then I will just add most to the positive degree. For example, most successful. So these were the three degrees of comparison of successful that is successful positive, more successful comparative, most successful superlative. And yeah, there are also some adjectives which are irregularly compared. For example, good, better, best. Now good is the positive degree and better is the comparative degree and best is a superlative degree of comparison. Now let's understand degree of comparison with the help of few examples. So the first example is Rhea was the smartest girl in her class. Now in this example the adjective is smartest and the degree of comparison is superlative degree of comparison. The second sentence is the gift of life is more precious than any other gift. Now in this sentence precious is the adjective and the word more is added to the word precious. So this becomes the comparative degree of comparison. The third example is the tree near my gate is not as tall as the one near the pond. Now here the adjective is tall and it is not accompanied by any other word. So this is the positive degree of comparison. And that's it for today my dear tutees. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to check the description box because I will be dropping some examples of degrees of comparison and we will also find all the links to my social media accounts. So do check them out and I will be soon with a new video. Till then, eat, sleep, study and repeat and if you like this video for whatsoever reason then just give it a thumbs up.